All right, welcome. Today we are going to do a quick tutorial on SoundPlant, and we are going to make our computer keyboard sound like a typewriter. So first I've got SoundPlant open on my desktop, and all the keys are blank or unassigned. So if you click on each one, they'll all say unassigned. And I've downloaded a typewriter key sound. So I'm just going to drag it over We'll assign it to the one key for right now, and this is what it sounds like. So, SoundPlant has this really cool feature where you can copy the sound of one key to another key. So first you need to click on the key you want to copy, and then you click Copy Key and drag it over to the next key that you want that to be assigned to. So now they both sound the same. I'm going to do that for all the keys really quick and then we'll continue. Alright, so now that I've assigned all of the keys to be the same typewriter key sound, I can type various random keys and they will all sound the same. Um, now I've purposefully left the tab, enter, and spacebar blank for now so that I can try a different sound for those. So just for fun, I've pulled this typewriter pullback for the enter key. And this one's a lot longer than I want. So I've already decided that I want to adjust this section every time I click enter. That way it sounds like the pullback of the typewriter. Now for the spacebar, I went with a cowbell and I don't want it to be quite that long. Every time I press the spacebar, it will sound like this. And for the tab, I thought why not make it a duck. I just want this first one. I'm going to go ahead and trim that. So now, when I click it, this is what it sounds like. Now, as we're typing, you've got various sounds. Now another great feature about SoundPlant is that you can use it in the background so that as you're typing in other programs you can keep these key sounds. And what you do is you switch this to background key input to on so that as you are using other programs it will continue to sound like a typewriter. Now before we finish, we want to go up here to Save Key Map, and you can choose where you want it to be. I'm going to put it on the desktop, and I'm going to write Typewriter Key Map, click Save. Now anytime that I close this program or I restart my computer, I can pull up SoundPlant again and just open a key map and select this one typewriter key map, and then my computer will continue to sound like a typewriter. Until next time.